Hey guys, if you like my content, hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out. Thanks. Hey guys, this is Esports Money, ZSM, Mac10, whatever you want to call me. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on VR Force. Now I know it's not Thursday, but I am going to be talking about emulation. We all know how good I am about keeping up with my weekly schedule. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy XI Online private servers, um, which is a form of emulation. It is a form of game emulation. Um, to my knowledge, it's not doing anything illegal because you're not technically pirating a game because you would have to be pirating the right to play that game on a commercial server, if I'm not mistaken, for it to be technically piracy. And these servers have been constructed uh, using entirely third-party created tools, um, not via stolen software that is copyrighted by Square Enix. So, and I'm pretty sure with most MMOs, um, the actual client is not something that they are overly defensive about. You can get it anywhere. So now you're probably thinking to yourself beforehand, uh, how many people play these servers? Are there enough people? Yes, um, depending on which server you're on. Um, what is really cool though, is that depending on what kind of Final Fantasy XI player you want to be or were, there are a variety of different choices you have at your disposal. So there are some servers where everything is the same as retail. There are some servers where everything is the same as retail with some bonuses, so you move it two or three times the normal movement speed, and you do move quite slowly in the game, so this is a nice bonus. Um, the experience rate is increased. The auction house is either stocked by bots and the economy is artificially maintained through bots so that if you have a small population it's fine or you play on servers that don't do that um, and what I'm going to focus on here today and how to use this server is a server that has uh, the Rise of the Zillart and Chains of Promathia expansions and it has all the missions for Rise of the Zillart and Chains of Promathia and the original game so you can actually get through rank 10 and get all of the Chains of Promathia missions done um, and then it has the basics of Treasures of Ot or Gone uh, active and you can go and get the basic jobs from Ot or Gone but that's pretty much it as far as that expansion is concerned. That expansion is basically not considered part of the game. They just wanted to incorporate those jobs back into the game. They want to emulate the 2005 experience. And if there's a feature that you miss from the game that uh, originated after 2006 or 5, you can pretty much give up on it. It is the same game that you played in 2005, and it has a relatively dedicated community. There are people leveling in the Valkyrie Dunes at most times of day. There are approximately 350 people on at peak times, and the smallest number of people on I've seen is 180, with around 1,500 monthly users. So this server is pretty active, but we'll get into that in a moment. So where, where I am right now is the Wikipedia page for the Dark Star Server Project, and the Dark Star Server Project is this uh, server program that you can run to set up your own Final Fantasy XI server. Um, just Google Dark's list of uh, Final Fantasy XI private servers or Dark Star servers, and you'll get this. There's a subreddit dedicated to this. Um, it's pretty easy to catch up with. The thing is, because there's so many different versions of the game, because the game is so old and because of the nature of updating the client, you're going to have to follow a slightly different process of installing the game depending on which version of the game that you want to run. There's also different rules regarding whether bots are okay uh, and things like that are acceptable depending on which server you're playing on. So the server I'm playing on does not allow bots, does not allow cheating of any kind, and again is pretty much it's essentially the same game from 2005 just with a much smaller population of you know like 350. But it's free to play so why not right? Um, so the server that I play on is the Nasomi uh, community private server. It is has a level cap of 75. I start with 10 gil. You have a character speed that's the same as retail and experience rate that's the same as retail. Um, maintenance is periodic. I haven't. I've only been blocked out. Uh, played the game for about two or three weeks on this server now, off and on, and I've only been kept off of it uh, once for maintenance, and it was the first day when I tried to install the game. Um, it says 1,200 active and players growing. I would say more than that. Uh, 300 to 350 online during peak hours, I'd say that's a little bit accurate. It might be a little bit higher than that, and I just think, because I, again, the lowest number of players I've seen ever is probably about 180. Um, 
pretty much everything works as it does in retail. It's pretty awesome. Oh, the mailing system doesn't work exactly like it does in retail. Uh, there's a couple of bugs with that. Um, Puppet Master is also relatively bugged, and there's some kinks being worked out with Blue Mage. But pretty much everything else works just like retail. Um, and there are servers that have different features. Some of these servers have all these things working correctly. But again, Nosomi is the one I'm most interested in because Nosomi is trying to recreate that old school experience, and the server population is very large. Um, you can actually see who's online now. And uh, we have 200, there's 274 people online as of me making this video. And today is August 15th, and we're at 3.27 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So pretty cool stuff. It is Facebook, Twitter, etc. And now how to install it. So if you go to the page, um, it will bring you to their home page. And then if you click the Downloads button over here, it will bring you to the Downloads page. Now you need a torrent installer. I don't know about this link to uTorrent. uTorrent is... Uh, the program that I choose to install torrents with when I do need them. Uh, again, this is completely legal. Torrents are not used entirely for legal purposes. Uh, so get a version of a torrent client that can handle magnet links that you like, um, and then use this beta install one-click installer. And when you get this, you'll basically just follow the instructions that pop up on your screen, and it's pretty straightforward. It kind of takes care of everything for you. Um, I scanned it with Malwarebytes and Windows Defender, both with uh, up-to-date uh, versions, and didn't find anything on it as of two weeks ago. Everything seems to be in order. Um, I just, again, use the one-click installer. However, it does make a Windows shortcut on your desktop for the configuration files and for accessing the server itself. Um, so one thing I would say that we're going to probably want to do a little bit different is over here you're going to go to Nasumi XI which is wherever your uh, install directory is and then you're going to go to Ashita and then you're going to run Ashita by itself. Hopefully that didn't just crash everything. Um, and then you're going to use this 1080p version and because I've had issues with all the different versions, or with some of these versions down here, but this ver this specific config seems to work correctly. Um, hit this, go to edit, and then you can change your windowed mode, change your resolution, change your background size and your resolution, show border, don't show border, windowed mode, um, unhook mouse, things like that. I like to have... Uh, I, I like to have it on borderless windowed at the same resolution of my monitor, and it blocks the start menu, which is really nice. Um, and trying to think of what other really important notes. So when you do this, you're going to hit the play button, and it's going to bring you up an interface like this. If you type to create new account, it's going to ask you to enter in a username and password. And that's it. There's no registering an email or anything like that. You just create a, enter username, enter password, and you're fine. Um, they do not uh, support dual boxing. However, I have two computers playing this game because my girlfriend and I will play uh, sometimes and they haven't had issues with two connections coming from the same uh, address. So that seems to work fine. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty quick install. It took me, I think, play online's download process can be relatively slow and laggy. I think 90 minutes, two hours is the entire process start to finish. Um, relatively quick and painless installation and pretty relatively bug free. One thing I will say is uh, you you may want to make a shortcut to this Ashita file and run that because I wasn't able to get the shortcut that it created on my desktop to work correctly. And as far as configuration works, you can use the Ashita config, but I would use that and the retail Final Fantasy XI config if it installs, if it creates a shortcut for that, because you're going to want to disable gamepad. Like you're going to want to edit gamepad settings and then uncheck enable gamepad and hit OK because that causes stuttering in most Windows 10 situations. I don't know why, but it does. And then once you fix that, uh, type slash FPS space 1 to unlock your FPS in game and play at 60 frames per second. And if you've never done that before, um, that's not a crucial installation part, but try it once you're in game. You will thank me. The game looks way better at 60 FPS than it did at 30. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I will put the links to the Nao, to the uh, Nasumi uh, private server and the Dark Star Wikipedia page in this video description. And uh, see you.